November INICT is over now it's the time for you to relax but others who are hoping to give the future INICT or those who have given this year INICT let's have the recall sessions also at first the exam analysis this time the exam was more heavily dependent on pre and para clinical especially the anatomy and the biochemistry INICT exam is always pre and para clinical heavy as you all know all the faculties say that it was a bit of lengthy stem questions multiple option corrects were given more as i have said image based questions were asked more uh, so the importance of digital image bank also increases so i have made a digital image bank if you want to have it then you can check it in the description box below fda approved drugs i always told you to go to the fda approved site and go through the newly approved fda drugs so three to four questions on newly approved drugs were asked this time it was pyt based exam but in the depth the nict goes so approximately 100 plus pyts were there uh, now to get the correct estimate i will have to recall all the questions then only i can tell you how many questions were pyt based 10 to 11 questions or 11 to 12 questions were unattemptable i have said you in the last five days strategy video also that 11 to 12 questions will be unattemptable and you need to leave them so ideal number of attempts in INICT is 185 to 192 questions how this year INICT was different from other year INICTs because handwritten chart one or two questions were given this time the weightage of OBGY was very less approximately 20 questions are usually given but this time only 10 questions were given and there was very much pre and paraclinical heavy more than the other years also and one experimental drug on rheumatoid arthritis was also given which is not supposed to be asked because it is an experimental drug you can't expect students to memorize other drugs than fda approved drugs i created a poll and most of you said it was moderate to difficult exam and it was more difficult than the me inict paper so the cutoffs might fall but the competition is also rising so let's see we can't predict anything in advance and in the question i asked that were more questions from pdr or was it more from the marrow or prep ladder or dbmci rapid revision so most of you answered that it was more from the rapid revision perspective coming to the recall radiology retrovirus positive low-grade fever was given cuff for one one episode of hemoptysis so the most likely diagnosis was pulmonary tb a 65 year old male smoker tingling and numbness in the arm and visual problem in the right eye so it is a case of pancos tumor and in pancos tumor the first investigation is mri but here the question has been asked the definitive diagnosis so the definitive diagnosis will be ct guided biopsy for any cancer to understand which type of cancer it is a picture of edh was given edh picture was also given in my image bank and pancos tumor image also given in my image bank you can check it in the description box below so edh and the answer would be burr hole and evacuation a 13 year old child with arm swelling upper humerus diaphyseal lesion esr was raised neutrophils were mildly elevated waxing and waning pattern what will you do next so in a case of uh, ewing sarcoma because this is denoting towards ewing sarcoma the history is denoting towards before biopsy you need to confirm it by mri so the first investigation will be mri after that only you will go for biopsy then a question on pancreatitis and mrcp image was given so the image was of pancreatic division a 28 year old man with coriform movements and image was given the answer was huntington's chorea a 35 year old man presented in er with sudden onset shortness of breath ct scan showing pneumothorax next best step this is a pyq needle based thoracotomy ct scan was given probably where it was pointing was internal auditory meatus i am not sure so if you have any other comments or any other answers then do let me know in the comment section below so that we can modify the pdf 
in OBGY, a patient was not responding to uterotonic agent. The next step was asked. So it is balloon tamponade. And another uh, scenario was given of pregnancy and the gestation weeks was probably 26 weeks. So the answer was conservative management. A multiple option correct question included in which of the following is included in impending eclampsia. So new onset headache, new onset visual disturbances and epigastric pain. Uterine inversion, what happens is the neurogenic shock at first, later is the hemodynamic shock. One controversial question is postpartum IUD insertion ideal time. So ideal time is just after the delivery in 10 minutes, but it is called the post placental. So if they are going into terminologies, then it will be 48 hours or if they are not going in details of the terminologies like post placental or postpartum, then it will be 10 minutes. So this is a controversial question. Some endometrial sampling and uh, abnormal uterine bleeding was given. So it was indicated to do the endometrial biopsy. AGUS was given. So colpo biopsy and endometrial biopsy will be the answer. Strawberry cervix in my digital image bank also this image was given and this was given in the main exam. It is trichomoniasis. Not a test for ovarian reserves. It is serum E2 levels. Instruments used for caesarean section. As I said you that internship related things are asked more or less in the November INICD. So green armatage forceps, Alice forceps, loin retractor and scalpel are used. In ophthalmology a patient with severe eye pain, mid dilated pupil, steamy cornea. This is a classical case of acute angle closure glaucoma. A patient presented with painful blurred vision, photophobia, wearing of contact lens. So the stain used. The image of acanthamoeba keratitis was given, which was given in my image bank also. So the stain is calcofloor. Krukenberg spindle is seen in pigmentary glaucoma. The image is also given in my digital image bank. All are used in visual acuity in pre-verbal except the ETDRS and Landorns. A myopic astigmatism with acute red eye, frequent rubbing and frequent change in spectacles. So this is a case of keratoconus but the image was given of acute high drops of keratoconus. So there is fluid accumulation. For that intracameral gas injection of C3F8 will be the answer. Dermatology questions. These I am confident about because I am doing PG in dermatology only. So white, black, vulval aging, absence of reti ridges. This was also given in my digital image bank. This is lichen sclerosus. Psoriasis is matched with hospit sign. This was the match the following question. Quasiore core flag sign given in my digital image bank. DLE carpet track sign because in the follicles the keratinization goes into. So if you elevate the scale then like this carpet track appearance is seen. And mastocytosis darius sign is seen. Syndromic approach not included in main obviously lower abdominal pain in females PID happens due to which lower abdominal pain occurs. So this was a more of common sense based question. Most common site of melanoma in Indians it is the acral melanoma. There are various types of melanoma. So the acral melanoma is most common and it most commonly occurs in the soles. So palms and soles will be the answer. A rash on thigh which appears at the same time and is recurrent, which history will we take? So this is a case of fixed drug eruption. It occurs due to memory T helper cells in the lesion. So all the time you take the drug, the lesion occur in the same site only. So you will take a history of the drug. For the next part, do subscribe to my channel and you can join my telegram channel and whatsapp channel to get the full pdf.